In this first vid little video, I'm going to show you how to access and set up your gradebook in Veracross. Uh, first thing you need to do is log into the faculty staff portal, uh, the final site portal. Once you logged in, a couple ways you can get to your gradebook or gradebooks. Um, the Ver you have an element here, the Veracross portal. If it isn't open, you can you open it with this little triangle on the side here to expand it. You can click here and get to the, the Veracross teacher portal, which will have all of your classes listed. Or you can get at the uh, uh, gradebook through each of your individual class pages. Uh, if I go to the new faculty training page to show you where that would be, it's going to load that page momentarily. And you can get to the gradebook right here from the Veracross class links. I'm going to go back and come in through the front side here just so that you can see how that works. I'm going to go back a page here. Okay. So I am going to go in through here. That will bring you to the Veracross teacher portal, which has all of your classes listed. And again, you can get at the gradebook by clicking right here, or if I was on the class page, the default is the student roster. Uh, and then the next thing I can do is up here on the uh, blue menu bar, click gradebook, and that will bring me to the gradebook for this particular class. You can switch between gradebooks, you roll over the name of the class here, and you can easily switch between all of your classes. Uh, to the gradebooks. First thing you need to do um, before you actually set up some assignments, which I'll show you how to do in the next little video, is uh, enter in some of the settings. First thing you want to consider is whether you want to have Veracross automatically calculate the end of term grade factoring in ex a weighted exam. So to do that you go up under settings, first of all over here in the blue menu bar, and it'll open up a window here where the first thing right now the default is no exams so I know at the end of the fall term there are term exams and my term exam counts 20 percent so um, I enter those pieces of information in the numerical weight is one save the settings and now I will have the exams factored in uh, after I've done all my grades at the end of the term going back to the gradebook click here in the blue menu bar next thing we have to decide is if you use weighting in your assignments. In other words, if you have your homework count a certain percent and the quizzes count another a different percentage uh, and use weighting versus straight points, um, then you need to set that up in the weighting tab here. On this button here where it says configure weighting, click here and it will pull up and you notice by default everything starts uh, zero, implying that it's nothing is weighted any differently. Say so you do want to have your weighting uh, you just enter in the percentages here. Let's enter 25. You'll notice until you get up to 100, this will stay red, meaning that you don't, excuse me, have all of the the weights factored in. So say I want to just put the quizzes. <clears throat> I'm going to have the tests be 25 percent, and uh, I know I'm going to use a project that'll be 25 percent. Once I get up to 100, <clears throat> it'll turn green here. One thing to be careful is if you set weighting, make sure that when you're putting in grades uh, or assignments that you use these categories. If you use a category that is not given any weighting, it will not factor into the grade even though you enter the numbers in there. So if I entered in a paper or assignment and called it a paper because the paper has not been given any weight to the grade, it won't factor into the student's grading. You can select to drop the lowest automatically or you can do that yourself manually. Um, and the other uh, thing is if you want to do weighting within weighting, you do that within the individual assignments. So say you have a bunch of quizzes, but you want one of them to count twice as much. You would do that not here, but inside the individual assignments. And we'll show you how to do that uh, on another video, or if you have any questions, you can certainly ask. So if I click back to the scores grid, and that will bring me back to the gradebook. Um, and in the next little video, we'll show you how to actually put assignments into your gradebook.